Come down to the Spring Fever Comedy Showcase at the Hidden History Museum on Saturday, April 13th, 2024 at 7 p.m. Get ready to group to great music, indulge in complimentary dinners and drinks, and brace yourself for an uproarious comedy extravaganza. Featuring the comedic talents of Tori Hart, Ron G, comedian CP, and many others, with dynamic boasting by Dwan B and Jarek. Don't miss out! RSVP now at HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. That's HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. Well, listen, and by the way, before I get the next call, um, the movie Microphone Check in theaters this May. Go to MicrophoneCheck.com to get your tickets. Um, and then we got an event at the museum April 13th. Go to HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. We got a great comedy show. Um, dinner, mixer is going to be off the chain as usual. Microphone check. I mean, HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. All right, Tyron, hop on Tyron. What's going on? What's going on? Um, I heard your little jabs. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Week. So uh, explain to us, what's this Majora stuff? Where did you get that? Are you playing like Zelda? Lord God. Did you snatch that from India? What is that? Where did you get that from? Where where would I get that from India? What are hmm. you talking about? I don't know. You you like placing made up shit on black Americans and ain't we don't find we don't everything made up though? Ain't everything made up? Somebody made up everything, didn't they? Right? What do you mean I like placing made up shit? What's not made up? Tyron? What's not made up? Turn your mind. Please mic explain. It, please explain okay. us. Where did you get this Majora shit from? What's not made up? Your whole ideology, bro. Okay, I'm asking you. What's not made up? Everything you you apparently don't even know anything about your American Indian talking point because you're stealing from African Americans ain't African. Who hmm. are you? You're just saying shit like a little woman. How am I saying shit? We know that you're just saying weird, random shit because you don't really have an argument. You like just a little old sassy biatch who's just talking for attention. You don't say anything sensible. Why are you so feminine? Wow. Just, am I feminine? Bro? You're just whining. You just you're not even asking real questions. You're just whining like a biatch. Yeah, what's that about? Why are you whining to a man? You're not even asking me any real. You, you're saying bad faith shit. You're not asking anything. You're just whining. Now, what's up with you with this whiny? What's this whiny nigga shit? Who's a man here? You got an e big, bro. You pocket your money in vacation, and you're not even dude. You're a grown man sitting here jealous and sassy about a, another grown man vacationing and having successful businesses. And you're projecting some e-begging bullshit. I have several businesses that I run every single day, sir. While you're sitting up pocket watching me and not running anything, that's why you can't vacation, sir. The only place you can go to is bussy land because you're a little old bitch who pocket watch grown men handle business. Now, why are you so bitch made and broke, sir? Oh, so um, since we're talking about made up shit, um, that American Maroon movie, what's that all about with samurai swords and capoeira? Because people in here, we didn't practice capoeira like that. And we definitely didn't have samurai swords. Why did you present to the public crappy products such as that in other movies where you steal like content? Where is your movie? What's the link to your movie? If I'm doing it wrong and American Maroon was very <laughs> successful, where is your movie? Because American Maroon was number one for a long successful? time. Successful? That shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one means you can't get no higher than number one. No, when you have number one, there ain't nothing higher than number one, sir. So where is your movie? Still in reheated information from... Where is your movie, sir? Wait, 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 hold on, wait. So wait, 
So <laughs> I stole the information, but the information was incorrect. So how make it make sense? Wow. Oh, you're stealing from hold on, wait, wait. You you said I stole it, but the information was incorrect. So which one is it? Did I steal it from who did I steal it from and why was their information incorrect? I mean, come on, make it make sense. You're being sassy. How am I being sassy again? Okay, who, who did I steal it my from? My God, and, my God. You don't even research half the people. Who did I steal it from? Okay. You, you, you Johnny talk- Aborigine, you steal from Safa Karu, Thousand Go Ahead, you steal from. Nigga. Okay. You're naming a bunch of people I ain't never heard of, sir. You're just naming a bunch of people. Everything out of your mouth is basically a lie. So basically, you're popping your collar to me. That's how thorough I am. I want my young men to listen. You want to be thorough? This is how you be thorough. You want to be thorough? Be thorough like me. Where a nigga can't even say nothing about you. This nigga has to make up everything out of his mouth is a damn lie. That's how thorough I am. And I take pride in that, ladies and gentlemen. That's called being a solid one. That's called being a real one. When a hater can't even find nothing to really hate on, he got to sit here and just make up every damn thing. Everything out this nigga's mouth is a damn lie. Which is basically you giving me props. Like he called the other day talking about my lady was Jewish. like that, And that's another thing. That shit does not bother me. Let me ask y'all that. What's with that my wife is Jewish? Do y'all, let me, um, Tyron, do y'all think that's, do you think that bothers me by you lying about my wife being Jewish? Does that supposed to bother me? Is that supposed to be an insult? Because a lot of you tethers and trolls say that. And I think, and y- y'all think that's that upsets me that you're lying about my wife being Jewish, which that's not an insult because she ain't. So do you think that's something that that's a real insult, Tyron? She's she was definitely that- like FBA. But do you think you tell him about <laughs> being a Jewish person? Do you think that's an insult? No. But she's not FBA, so you're a hypocrite. And if I'm lying, um, your fans can go. Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah, my wife's father's FBA. Hold on, brother. If I'm lying, your fans can go back to your YouTube channel and pull up your Thanksgiving address and find Johnny Aborigine's meme on your video. Okay. So what's your point? What's your point? Johnny Aboriginal. You're a hypocrite, bro. How so? How so? Explain that. You're a content thief? For real? Heck, you even have to study Dane Calloway's mannerisms. Bro, we know you stalk us. We know you had took in your... Took in? This nigga can't even talk. Dane Calloway? Dane Calloway said Harriet Tubman didn't exist. Yep, and you stole from them. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Harriet, you, I'm talking to you now. You're saying that Harriet Tubman didn't exist? I never said any of that. I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Dane Calloway says dumb shit like Harriet Tubman didn't exist and she was made up by the U.S. government. And, And you saying I'm stealing from that? You're not muted. Is that what I'm stealing from? You're not muted, dude. You just did mute me, and I screenshotted it, too. You're saying I'm um, I'm not hiding anything, bro. You're saying I'm stealing from a nigga. Yeah, you are, bro. From a nigga who says Harry. You're stealing from Alquan as well. You wouldn't even be talking about delineation from... I'm stealing from a nigga who said Harriet Tubman didn't exist. That what you say? Absolutely. And I don't. All right. Okay. All right. Let me get some more calls in because now you just. All right. 
now you don't even believe what you're saying now. So now you're just being emotional and just saying bullshit. Yeah, damn. Now you're just being emotional. You don't even believe that. And you don't even believe the nigga you bringing up. You don't even believe that shit he's saying. I just ask you, do you believe what this nigga saying? I didn't I don't believe that. Nigga, if you don't believe it, you know I damn sure don't believe it. You giving props to a nigga that you don't even believe. You just debunk yourself on this phone. This is how dumb you are. You sat here giving props to a dude. And then when I brought up the stupid shit that he talks about, you don't even believe it. <laughs> Boy, you troll niggas and you moist fuck niggas will debunk yourselves if you let these Negroes babble enough. Boy, that's emotional, jealous bitch nigga talk. All right. I just wanted to get you on here to show how much of a fuckboy you were and to show my young people who not to be like. Don't be like that. Do not be like that, young men. We have enough fuck niggas out here. We don't need no more. We got our fill of fuck niggas. All right? <laughs> Please, my young cats, we don't need another fuck nigga out here. All right? My, oh, my guy uh, is sending me a... Wait, my guy is sending me an image of this guy. Hold on. This way. My guy is sending me something. Hold on. My guy is sending me Tyron's Instagram. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Tyron, hold on. Okay, my guy is sending me your Instagram. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my guy my guy just sent me Tyron's Instagram. <laughs> yeah, you 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 look like a fuckboy. Okay. You look bummy and fuckboyish. Uh, let me get let me ask Tyron something. Hold on, get get back on Tyron. Get back on Tyron. Hold on. <sighs> get back on. And I, I don't want to waste too much time because I know he's a fuckboy and he's just being emotional. But 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 get on. And fuck niggas, they don't have anything logical. Everything is all emotion. But let me ask him. I just saw your page and. You got a lot of that Native American stuff on there. Hop on, fuck boy, real quick. Yeah, what's my page, bro? Right. right. Um, what Native tribe are you with? What's my face? What's my Instagram page, bro? Um, my man just sent me the link. He what's the name the of it? I don't know the the goddamn name because I'm talking now. I don't what is it? Name. What is it? Tell your fans. Oh, no, I'm not trying to promote you. Cause <laughs> not... hey, yeah, because you a fuck boy, nigga. Okay, okay, bitch ass. Um, so what Indian tribe are you in? What's your Indian tribe? Tell your fans because you're claiming to be a black aboriginal from here. Uh, bitch boy, calm your bitch ass down because I, I just saw your page and you got some Native American stuff on there. So nigga, what tribe are you with? What's your tribe, bro? Uh, I, I'm not a part of a red Native American tribe. My tribe is foundational black American. That's my That's tribe. not What's a cool? real tribe, bro. Yes, it is. Yes, no, it, it is. isn't. Where? Where? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's real. Yes, it is. It's a bunch of FBI. And eyes in the courts. It's, it's what? How what? you got laughed up out of that uh, reparations conference, by the way, in California. There were no slaves in California. Nigga, what are you talking about? Your FBA reparations in California event. How did that go? Well, apparently you, you got walk, dog walked up out of there. Who? We seen the footage. What are you talking about? Who got dog walked? You. What fantasy are you fantasizing about, nigga? Who got um, dog your walked? FBA fantasy, actually. Who what in the courts recognized who got a black? Walked? You, nigga, How? you almost got hands and feet put on your ass. Who by who? Your stands. <laughs> your so-called FBA people. You, you don't even believe. That's why you were there giggling like a bitch. No, it's footage. You, you almost got beat up. <laughs> the purple one has the footage. Nobody did anything to me. Yep. Oh, and keyboard musician wanted to put hands on you. Nobody How was that? Did any, nobody did anything. <laughs> you can giggle all day, um, little sassy thing. Nobody did nothing to me. And I'm real available. I went up there. 
kicked it, spoke, and went outside and took pictures. And nobody do shit to me. I'm outside, baby. You ain't outside. I'm out here. You understand? You the one sitting up on the internet giggling, trying to claim. Well, something. well, trying, bro, trying, then trying, what? trying to claim and watching how much money I'm making, like a biatch, like a little old groupie, mad because a nigga ain't trying to get with you. You wish Ma, you were a groupie. Yeah, 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 you got vagina envy, nigga. You sitting here? You ain't outside nowhere. Don't project your little scary fantasies on me. You sitting over there with vagina envy. You mad because you ain't got a pussy to give nobody. <laughs> you little groupie nigga. You mad because you ain't got a pussy. You wish you had one. That's the way you pocket watching other men. You pocket watching a man and worrying about what vacation a man is going on. I think you, Tariq, over there in Cancun and shit, getting in that water and your body glistening. I think you... What the hell kind of niggas are these out here? You be making all that money, be going on no trips with your little old lisp. <laughs> Giggling with a lisp. Little old giggly nigga. I seen you. Somebody's about to they about to beat on you, Tyreek. <laughs> How you a giggling thug? You trying to sound tough giggling. You don't believe that horse shit you talking. Nigga, please. Nigga, you think I'm you. You don't project your shit onto me. Nigga, I'm outside. What nobody about to do shit to me? Niggas know what it is. Ain't nobody about to do nothing to me. Nigga, please. I ain't in the house listening to fuck niggas like Dane Calloway. <laughs> That, that shows how much of a fuck nigga you are. You listen to other fuck niggas. Fuck niggas of a feather flock together. Other in the house niggas who ain't about to go nowhere. Y'all niggas ain't never outside. Just sitting in the house fat and, and living under your mama's house, using her damn cable, using her internet. Uh, damn, my young brothers out here, don't be like these bitch asses. Don't be like them. All right, let me get some more calls in here. These niggas are funny. Uh-uh, Tyreek. I've seen how much money you made. In 2020, you have made $2.3 million. What you doing all that money, Tyreek? You don't be keeping it real, Tyreek. Making all that money and shit. <laughs> Fuck kind of weird niggas. L ladies, let me talk to my sister. Sisters, I feel your pain. Sisters, when sisters be complaining about some of the dudes out here, sisters, I get it. Trust me, I get it. Because when I hear niggas like that, sisters, if that's what's in the dating pool, I feel your pain, sisters. I can imagine y'all going on a date. Ladies, if you go on a date with a fuck nigga and you realize he's a fuck nigga in the middle of the date, what do y'all be thinking? Do y'all be like, man, I should just walk out this restaurant on this nigga and call an Uber. And, but this nigga, he's such a fuck boy. He might follow me home. What do y'all be thinking, ladies, when, when a fuck nigga like Tyron, you go on a date with him and you don't, you, you realize he's a fuck nigga in the middle of a date. Because you're talking to him and then he says some fuck nigga shit. You know, I'm a, I'm really a Native American. I'm really Cherokee, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a book about the mound builders, and, <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? <laughs> He's talking that bull, that plebiscite bullshit. Uh, you ever heard of Tyreek Nasheed? He don't be keeping it real, girl. That nigga be making a whole bunch of money, and he don't be giving that money to people like me. That nigga is not keeping it real. And it's like, what is this nigga talking about another man for? What the hell? Is this nigga homosexual? What, what am I doing with this dude? This nigga's on the down low. <laughs> oh, God. Poor women out here. You're dealing with these dudes. Poor ladies. <laughs> 
And ladies, you with this nigga, you on a date and he does that bitch giggle. You talking and he starts giggling like a bitch. So you're like, so Tehran, um, so what do you like to do for fun? Well, you know, I like to do a whole bunch of things. You know, I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> like, oh, what the hell? Did this nigga just bitch giggle? Oh my God. Lord, I'm going to de delete my Tinder app. <laughs> Cause this nigga's really tender. <laughs> oh God, ladies, I feel your pain. When that nigga starts bitch giggling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ladies, uh, sisters, I'm with you. So that's why sisters, y'all need to come to my events. Y'all want the real brothers? Y'all come out to my events, sisters. That's where the real brothers are. When we have the rally for reparations, the real ones are out there, ladies. You're not going to get them giggly fuck niggas. You're going to get a real one. Hard-working brother. Businessman. You come to the Hidden History Museum. You ain't going to get no giggling fuck niggas. You're going to get real hard-working men. That's what you're going to get, ladies. Oh, Lord. Let's get some more people in here. King Armstrong. What's up, King Armstrong? How are you? What's up, my brother? How are you? I mean, shit, we, I mean, we good. What well, I'm saying, you talking down on these, on these, uh, Cherokee and these, uh, you know what I mean? These back native freedmen. I mean, like, they, we no, I'm not. No, 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 slow down. No, I'm not. I'm not talking down on them. No, I'm not. No, don't say that. Don't say I'm talking down on the. Yeah, hold on, my nigga. You come at this shit a whole a whole wrong way, nigga. No. We up this land, nigga. We up this but land. We we what? Mississippi, Alabama, Arizona, all across the state. Right? Yeah. So you I mean now, you, you, nigga, you I mean you come at this shit a whole a whole wrong way, right? And wow. and, and that's the problem, right? Like you niggas been coming at this shit a whole wrong way. Right? Well, what's the right way? Ag what's the, ag what's the, ag what's the right way? You not, hold on, hold on, man. Listen, hold on. Right? You niggas be acting like nigga, like niggas don't know they literally were tired to this shit. I mean, when it comes to this land, right? So guess what, right? I mean, niggas like you, nigga, you, you know I mean, you been shooting these shots, nigga, all across. Okay, okay, brother, slow down, because you sound crazy. Hold on, nigga. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you been shooting these. Talk real, dude. You you mush mouth. Okay. Now what what's the real? Don't tell us what's wrong. What's the real? All right, because you're not gonna mush mouth your way through this thing. Tell us what's real, and don't sit here projecting all of these weird criticisms. Just tell us what's real, because I don't want to hear all that. But you you starting the plebiscite battle, nigga. Hey, I'm telling you what's real. This is now, what's you real. Shit your mouth. Right, so guess what? Right, okay, so hold on. You saying it like you saying it like you presenting this shit like you know what I mean you got some issue or some or some thing against you know what I mean you know what I mean the 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 tribal dude you didn't say it nah I mean you did or uh, uh nah I mean you feel me dude you're just spewing a bunch of damn adjectives. I don't know what you're saying. You're going to have to get to the point and make a goddamn point. You're not going to sit here plebiscite babbling. You're not making any point. You're just saying random shit, sir. And I'm giving you an opportunity to speak truth to power. Now tell us what's going on. What's the real deal? You're going to have to tell us what's the real deal and stop with this. Like, like I said, right? Like I'm saying, right? Like you speaking on these tribal freedmen and these tribal people, right? That's tied no, to... Not. No, I'm not. I haven't spoken about no tribal freedmen. I have no, not... No, you did. Man. You did. When? I don't know if you know you did, but you did. When? When did I... And what did I say about them? 
What did I say about tribal freedom? Nah, nigga, hello, nigga, you ain't listening. You, you keep meeting. You better get to the fucking point. What did I? Because you're not gonna sit your ass. You're not gonna sit your ass up here and lie. Because you, now your ass is lying. I'm not gonna let you lie, nigga. You lying? I didn't say anything negative about tribal freedmen. Nah, nah, nah. The fuck That's you what, talking about? Here's the reality, nigga. Here's the reality, no, nigga. Reality here's the reality. Here babbling, nigga. Slow your drunk ass down. That's enough Come of that on, drunk man. nigga shit. Yo, yo, you was some No, 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 no. Don't sit your ass up here and lie. Talking about, I said something about a tribe. Who's the tribal freedman? Who are you talking nigga, about? Nigga, line up, line up then, right? You want some goofy shit, right? And here's where you goofy at. Here's where you goofy at. Ooh, you slurring your words. You can't get any more goofy. You're over here, drunk and high, slurring your words. You can't even... You have yet to give out a coherent sentence, sir. Now go ahead. Now what I are you talking about, man? You keep cutting me off, right? You keep trying to make a point like you saying some nigga. You've been drunk, nigga, prison babbling for five minutes. You have yet to make a point. Make a point, nigga. Nigga, you want some goofy shit? Guess what? I'm saying. I'm telling you this, right? If you niggas want reparations or think that reparations is going to come to you, guess what? You can't get it without us. You know what I'm saying? Who is up? You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't get it without us, nigga. Right? Who is up? You know what I mean? Yeah, these tribal free men, nigga. They got, they, they got report with this U.S. government all across this motherfucking land, nigga. Us, nigga. Okay, Fuck you what talking about? about? What you know what I mean? Niggas that, niggas, niggas that little know they lineage. Niggas that ain't tell Okay. What tribe are you from, nigga? You won't tell us your damn yeah, tribe. I ain't gotta tell you that because Okay, then shut the fuck up then. All right. All right. If you ain't gotta tell us what's tribe, you sitting here talking about a tribe, 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 and you can't tell us, then shut your stupid ass the fuck up. All right. Because you ain't saying shit and you have no point. And you have no knowledge and you have nothing constructive. You're another dirty, dusty, bummy nigga hopping on these platforms to get the attention that you don't get in real life. Because don't nobody want to hear your dusty, bummy, plebiscite babbling ass. And that's an issue. When we have spaces, the dusty, bummy, plebiscite babblers look at it as an opportunity to just go up and be a clown. You're just being the class clown right now. You're not saying anything. And I've given you several opportunities to say something constructive. Not one word out of your mouth is constructive. So we've determined that you're just up here for some damn attention. Because your goofy ass hood rat mama left you at home by yourself and nobody tended to you. So you didn't get attention growing up. That's why you're drunk now. And babbling and coming into our spaces. And we don't want you speaking in our spaces because we don't have time for incoherent plebiscite babble. Now, Mr. King, get your dumb ass off my platform, all right? All right. There it is. Family, we don't, we're not obligated to sit up and listen to stupid-ass plebiscite babbling niggas. See, we got to start having some cleanup jobs going on because when it's time to build... A lot of times when people want to put their heads together and think and come up with think tanks and put our minds together and, and come up with ways to build off each other and flesh out ideas, we always get that one idiot who's just jumping up to be seen. Nothing constructive. It's just, hey, everybody. Since there's a crowd here, everybody look at me. Let me say something dumb just so I can be seen. And we don't have time for these attention-deprived baby Huey niggas who are big grown children. It's manhood time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to start carrying the water on some manhood shit. We're talking about some nation building here. We, 
I, we ain't doing that whole prison babble. This is what niggas do when they get in prison. They start babbling like that. And we're not having that prison babble culture in our circles. Where niggas just want to babble to waste the time so that the prison time can go by faster. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You better say something constructive. Even when I roast people, it's going to be constructive. The conversation is going to always be constructive. You better say something that's going to enlighten the audience. See, that's what the purpose of these spaces are. You come in a Tariq Nasheed space, you better come in here and enlighten the audience. You better have some kind of knowledge or some kind of an opinion that's going to be semi-constructive, even if it's a disagreement there. We need to hear both sides of a of a conversation. Nick is just coming up just yelling shit and uh, no, we don't do that. That's not constructive. It's absolutely pointless and it's just to give bitch niggas attention. All right. And Tyron, I'm not going to have you back on because you're basically a time-wasting troll. Your objective is to come in and waste time because you're not going to build nothing. You're going to stay at your aunt's house eating up all her damn food and trolling on the damn internet. All right, let's get Pele. All right, let's get Pele in here. All right, let's get Pele in the building. And we're in here heavy, almost 800 people in the middle of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Pele, hop in. What's up, brethren? How you doing? I'm How are you, bro? I'm pretty good, man. I appreciate you letting me up on your platform, and I know what kind of time of night it is. I just got off work working on some off-grid construction. uh, Designing earthships. Love Love it. Yeah, designing earthships at the moment so you know i just tapped in and i just heard all the crazy shit that you got coming up on your stage with all a lot of in, incoherence and not enough focus on like what the goal is so uh well, i just wanted to give you just wanted to give you salutes to everything that you're doing make sure that uh you know I, I love that you keep your head on the swivel and i know what it's like to have the pressure from the cia and the fbi coming at you and your family for everything oh, yeah. that's going on yeah. I've had something very similar because I was fighting against Monsanto when I was out in Tuskegee, Alabama, and uh, they uh, they pretty much uh, hit me with something similar and everything. So uh, lots of salutes to what you're doing, brother. I know what you're trying to do as far as like getting people uh, to to come with clear, coherent thoughts with this mission, and and you know just make sure that their fucking information is uh, full of critical thought. So I just wanted to make sure that I told you that prior, you know, before I even go into what I want to go into. So thank you for right. the platform. Yes, and much respect to that. Yes, sir. My man. I, th- thank you so much, brother. All right, let me get um, Fricky. What's your name, brother? Fricky Daddy. All right. What's up, Fricky? Waiting on Fricky to hop in. Oh, Fricky bounced. All right. He must not have planned to be on. All right. I don't think he planned on being on here. All right. Let's get um African Star. Let's get African Star in here. And um um Jacket Head, I get Jacket Head in too. So African Star, you good? Yo, 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 what's up? I'm good, man. How are you? Oh shit. Uh so um like, how many white people are getting reparations? Do you know? What about white people getting reparations? How many white people are getting reparations? How many? How many of them? Um, it depends. White people who are Jewish, they get reparations. And you got a lot of um, $5 Indian. No, I meant uh, for black, you know, like for slavery. How many of them are getting it? Um, white people weren't enslaved in the United States. Um, yeah, but that's point, yeah. Uh, let me make my point, right? So okay, you know hold on, how? Hold on, hold on. But let me let me answer that. Right, the on. ones who were indentured. Now you had white people who were indentured, and they did get a form of reparations. They got freedom dues, so they did get compensation. But go ahead. Okay, you know how the reparations for uh, FBAs is like by lineage. Yes. And uh. uh uh, black Americans have about twenty percent white DNA. Okay, so that that would mean that white people also have about the same amount of black DNA, right? 
Probably not because they're white. But what do you mean? It's, it doesn't matter. It's just their DNA. Like you're black and you a, only a have white person, twenty. If you have twenty percent black DNA, you're not white. It's going by lineage. So the point I'm trying to make is, if they look back in their family tree, they'll see a black person. And if that black person was a slave, then they get reparations. No, it's just because going, it's going by the, lineage. No, because one of the requirements is that you're a person who has to be classified as black now. But then that would be race based. Then, so. You know, it's going to be lineage based, but one of the requirements that people are suggesting is that the person has to be classified as black now so that you don't have people saying, well, I have a, a black abuela back in Nigeria somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's some bullshit like that. Because some people will try to get a DNA test and find 2% lineage in Nigeria and say, hey, I'm black. You see? I mean, I've never, I've, literally, I've never heard anyone say that, oh, you have to be black. That would make a race-based reparations, though, don't you think? Well, and you even with the black. lineage, even with the lineage-based, even with lineage-based, a lot of white people are not going to be able to trace their lineages back like that because that means that somebody passed and if they passed, they probably went out of their way to destroy those records so they, they, they wouldn't be caught. Because a lot of white people who are undercover blacks, they understood the danger of being caught. So they're not going to leave no records around like that. So that's not going to be that big of an issue because it's lineage based. So a white person, you know, they're not going to be able to trace back somebody on a plantation back in the 1800s, because a lot of the white people actually came after the 1800s. That's another thing. So mm. a lot of people haven't been here that damn long. Yeah. So my last question, and okay, that's a good answer, I guess. Right. Um, my last question is, like, have you heard these people talking about repealing the 14th Amendment uh, in terms of stopping immigration? Like, what do you think, what do you think about that? Nah, they they they're talking like that, but I don't I don't think they're going to do it. They, they don't have to repeal the Fourteenth Amendment. They can just secure the borders. They can just secure the borders. Um, so yeah, I don't think they're going to repeal the Fourteenth Amendment. Yeah, because so, I so. hear I hear a lot of, uh, like people that claim to be FBA saying this, and I don't think they realize that if you if they repeal the Fourteenth Amendment, then that takes away Brown versus the Board of Education. It takes away anti segregation laws. Because all of those laws were based on the 14th Amendment. So if you repeal the amendment, then it makes all of those laws invalid. So do you yeah, think it's they, worth it? Do you think it's worth it to... They've like, already gone, but, but the thing around, they've, they've gone all around the 14th Amendment and they still segregate and everything is still separate and unequal. So on paper, it's supposed to be equal, but the white supremacists, they're very crafty. They come up with ways to still segregate and they use different code words so that it doesn't have to be race-based. Going back to Brown, to Brown and Board of Education, that situation was about money at first. It was black people who were trying to get money money for the black schools. They were trying to get equal money. The NAACP came in and made it about, well, let, let the blacks and the whites go to school together. We need integration. And then it turned into some other bullshit. So that's a whole thing within itself. But anyway, but thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. All right, let's get, um, let me see. I, what's your name? I see Coggins, something like that. IAC Coggins. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for allowing me up on the stage. Yeah, it's been a very interesting conversation. You know, suspected white supremacists, they always try to use uh, percentages rather than actual real numbers. They never um, admit to the fact that they commit the most crimes. Right. Period. All right. Yeah. Uh, you can look at the F. FBI statistics, if you look at the total number of criminals arrested, it's more white folks. But they want to play the percentage game. The other thing is that uh, you hit some very, very good points. Um, white folks, but, but one thing, uh, white slave owners got reparations by the restoration of their property after right. the first reparation movement. All right, the 40 acres and the mule. 
Okay. Yeah. And, and we basically are continuing the process that was laid out to actually have that particular promise fulfilled. Um, but I was going to say that white people have also received their compensation or money, all right, because of the fact that they get lower insurance rates. They have basically lower interest rates. Uh, basically, on the. Come right over here and tell me that you have some. Uh, hold on. Uh, Harimbi, hold on, man. Let the brother talk. Hold on, Harimbi. I'll get you in a second. Go ahead. Yeah. And, and, and so basically, um, all the things that the GI Bill, all right, what they got, you were, the Homestead Act, and the brother was talking about the samurai swords and whatnot. You know, yeah. it's art. You're able to do whatever you want to do. It's your production. If he right. wants to do something, let him do something. I write books because I want to put in my books, which are in my books, you know, yeah. and, and and that's just the way it is. So uh, keep up the good work. Um, kudos to you. Stay strong. Stay proud. Thank you so much, brother. All right, so Mr. Harimbi, hop on. Oh, oh. There's some stuff going on in the trailer park. Oh. I think they're about to fight over some meth. Um, Harimbi, everything all right? Mr. Harimbi? Yeah, they, they're turning up over there in that trailer. I hope somebody's all right. All right, Mr. Harimbi, you y'all good over there? Yeah, there's just something going on over there. I think um, they might have overdosed on fentanyl and left the TV on or something over there. All right, let's get um, some other people in here. Bless their hearts. They're going to be all right. If y'all know Harimbi, y'all go over there and help him out. All right, let's get... Um, Let's get Ernest Williams down here on the box. He requested Ernest Williams, and then we'll try Ty. Right. Ernest. Let's get Ernest, and then we'll get Ty Powell. All right. Where you at, Ernest? All right, how about Ty? Ty, you ready? Want to unmute your mic? All right. I guess y'all ain't got nothing to say. Let's get King Jess. All right, let me do this. How about y'all raise your hand if you're ready to speak? We'll do that. Everybody who's ready to speak, just raise your hand because there's a lot of people in here who made a request. Now, I don't know if they made a request by mistake. All right. Let's get um, Vibe. Vibe is raising the hand. So let's get Bob in here, and I'm going to take um, Ty and King Les out of here. All right, um, Vibe, what's up, Vibe? Hey, what's up, King Flex? How you doing? 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 How you doing, brother? I'm good, Vibe. What's the what's the word, brother? Hey, you know I know your brother, man. His, his name started with a K up in Reno Valley. I'll be, you know, oh, brother, yeah, be yeah, schooling yeah. Me. brother be schooling oh, yeah. me, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, the yeah. brother's a smart brother in business and everything, and he uh he be schooling me on some things, but I appreciate the brother also. Yeah, I want to say this, this man. It's crazy how a Puff Daddy get raided by the Homeland Security, but these illegal immigrants don't get raided in some of these um some of these places that they're in. They're doing all type of criminal acts in these uh in these shelters and everything like that, but they have the smoke for uh for Puff Daddy. So it's kind of that's kind of weird to me. You know, it's a lot of crime yeah. that's going on in these illegal uh, legal immigrants, and they're not doing nothing to them. You know, they're funding them with yeah. all type of resources. So that that right there, whoever keeping for the feds and all that, that's some weird stuff, man. That's some weird Real stuff charm. they're doing. And, and let me say this one thing. I, I did um, I did some research, research on the adult entertainment business. And when you, when you was bringing up these tethers uh, like a few years ago, I was like, okay, let me do some research. And some of these white supremacist adult entertainment uh, 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 places where they, they put some they put black women down and try to degrade them. If you look at these women backgrounds, a lot of these women is from the Caribbean and from Africa. I noticed yeah. that. And a lot of people yeah. don't know that they're Haitian, Jamaican, they're Trinidadian. 
I'd be like, what the hell? But it's crazy how they just painted as black women. But when you start looking at these women backgrounds, a lot of these women is Jamaican and, and Africans. They're not even FBA women. Yeah. I noticed that. But thank, thank you, King Flex. I appreciate thank it, you. brother. All right. All right. Let's get some more people in here. Well, we got a lot of folks in the building. Uh, a lot of people in the building. Okay, I, I, there was some. I saw a couple of weird here too. There's some weirdo pages in here too. All right, hold on now. Some of these pages are real weird. All right, I'm looking down at certain people down here. Shout out to everybody down here. We got a lot of people in the building. And by the way, guys, if you're in LA, come on out here to the Hidden History Museum at. Um, 2131 West Jefferson Boulevard. We got a, a great event happening on April 13th, Saturday night. Great comedy spot, great mixer, networking, vibing, um, complimentary dinner and drinks. Y'all got to come on through. It is a vibe. You guys will really enjoy yourselves at the Hidden History Museum. All right. Let's get um, Shad. Let's get Shad in here. Shad? Yeah, what's good, Tariq? What's good, man? How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. What's on your mind? Yeah, I just want to piggyback off the last person. Uh, could you speak on how all the non-FBA women, all the um, when they speak about our women, FBA women, all they do is uh, try to over-sexualize them, et cetera. But when it comes to their culture, their culture is all about sexuality and perversion, pretty much, whether you're talking about their praise or anything else. Yeah, people, you know, I, they, they kind of have this thing where they kind of want over here, come, want to come over here and kind of denigrate foundational black Americans and talk crap about FBA women. And man, they, really, their culture, dude, you want to see some stank behavior, man. These places are super stank. And then when they do their little carnival parades or whatever, it's just them running around the street, flapping their asses around. And I'm not trying to denigrate y'all, but y'all not in a position to point fingers and talk about degenerate behavior and what FBAs are doing in these places that these folks come from, these different countries are known for all types of paternity fraud and man, baby mamas and baby daddies running around here and the kids don't know. Man, it's it's a cluster flop. And, and just nobody's in a position to talk greasy about us. That's what it is. Uh, let me get one more call because I said I wasn't going to be on too, too late and I'm always on here late. So let me get one more call. Let's get one more call and let's make it good. Let's get Eric Johns in here. All right, Mr. Eric Johns, hop on Eric Johns. All right. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, brother, what's going on with you, man? It's going good, man. I just wanted to ask you, um, if you wanted to send something to the Hidden History Museum, like, you know, some Foundation of Black American Historical Records, because um, if you know me, I collect music and stuff, and I always wanted to keep like the history of our music alive by like um, keeping physical, you know, like media and format for like the newer generation and stuff. Because you know, most of these kids don't get stuff like that. If you show them a cassette tape, they call you one of these old niggas and stuff. But I ain't even studied yeah. that, and I still find it very interesting. Absolutely, yeah, you can definitely send stuff in. Absolutely, and people send stuff in all the time. I was at the museum yesterday. Um, just unpacking a lot of stuff people sent. People sent some phenomenal artifacts. Somebody sent me um, an old um, children's puzzle of like um, Little Black Sambo, like a black kid getting eaten by a tiger. This was something from the Jim Crow era. Man, it's, it's stuff out here, man, that these folks used to collect and they would put this out in the public. And they hide a lot of this stuff. But yeah, it's a children's puzzle of a black kid getting eaten up by a tiger. Yeah, somebody just sent me that, man. I'm amazed by some of the stuff that's out there. Y'all send me that stuff, man. Send it to the museum, man. We, we'll, we'll archive it and put it on display. We, we like to show this kind of stuff. We like to show what the, the, the mindset was at a certain time, how open they were. 
with their anti-black racism and how we overcame that. I mean, we got a lot of little trinkets and artifacts. We got like little Jim Crow toys and man, dude, the white supremacists. And let me tell you something. They still have a lot of this stuff in their homes. See, a lot of you don't be in the homes of these white supremacists. They keep a lot of that stuff in their homes. Little trinkets, little salt and pepper shakers of black people little can openers of black people, clocks with black people, all these little weird items with images of us on them. It's an interesting dynamic, man. And it's a whole little industry for that. These little, they call it, it's called black Americana. If you Google the term black Americana, you'll see it. It's a whole little cottage industry of little trinkets that white supremacists all around the country, they like to collect just images of us. And, and it goes for top dollar too. They, they trade these things and auction them off. Just little Jim Crow trinkets of us, toys with images of us, lunch boxes with images of us, food canisters with images of us. It's crazy, man. And um, you go to these little antique stores, especially in the South, you know, they got those hidden in the back. Sometimes they don't even hide them. Over there in Kennesaw, Georgia, I talked about this a couple of years ago. There's a little antique store with a whole bunch of racist shit in it. They got like shit called nigger hair and they got all types of little racist artifacts about black people in these stores. So it's interesting. So, you know, we like to put all that stuff on Front Street. And, um, you know, teach that history, man. Teach what it is and, you know, show you the mindset of these folks so you'll never forget. Yeah. But anyway, man, oh, I, oh, Nathaniel, why are you giving the thumbs down? Hold on. We got a couple of white supremacists in here giving the thumbs down. What y'all mad about? Hold on, Charles. Uh, I'm assuming there's a, a suspected white supremacist in here. Charles, why, why are you giving the thumbs down? I know why Nathaniel is. Nathaniel's in that trailer park, very upset. He, what I'm saying is really chapping his ass. He threw his meth pipe down and broke it. What's up, Charles? What's up, bro? Okay, you're a black dude. Okay, so I thought you were a white boy. Yeah. Okay. Why, why, we wanna see this? why are you giving the thumbs down? Why we want to see that, bro? You what now? What's the point of us saying that? Are you the same mush mouth nigga who called earlier? You you got the same mush mouth. No, I said, what's the point of us saying that? Okay, but are you the same mush mouth nigga who called earlier? No. Yeah, I don't believe it's two mush mouth niggas up this time of night. It can't be. The odds, are just, no. it, the, the odds of two mush mouth niggas being up at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's impossible. I don't believe it. You deflecting them, bro. I ain't deflecting, but why are you going to go go to your other Finster account to call in, nigga? We know why it's your... You, that, man? you the mushmouth Indian. <laughs> well, white people put some, uh, some white stuff in their museum, showing white kids get eight by lions and stuff? Um, yeah, some museums do have that, but white kids don't really get eight by Now, what you trying to say? Are you at work right now, brother? Man, answer the question, bro. What what the museum is it? Oh, where what? Because you 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 you're mush mouth, my nigga. I can't understand. Where the white museum is? Where the white museums? Yeah, with the white kids getting ate by lions. Um, probably in your hometown. <laughs> it's probably in your hometown. Don't know, that, that little people self esteem, bro. Don't nobody want to see that. So seeing something historically traumatizing that that's gonna mess up your self esteem. So, so some white people get ate up then. Okay. Have you seen American? You Mar- I got movies that showing white supremacists getting the business. So so. Have you like, seen like- that? Like you like showing black people getting raped, but you call it butt breaking. Like yeah, you won't call it rape. It's butt breaking. It's, it's they, did that, 
It's buck breaking. So if a black man rape a white man, you'll call that buck breaking. That don't make no sense. Your mush mouth logic ain't really clicking, sir. You said That's rape why... is buck breaking, right? Uh, sir, your mush mouth logic ain't really clicking like it's supposed to, sir. You're not really What's making breaking? You're just saying random shit. What is buck What's breaking your... there? So What's your point? You're trying to lower black people's self-esteem, bro. That's my point. Why, why your self-esteem so low? It's high, but you're trying to make it low. No, or not. No, or not, because little shit like historic facts is fucking with you. Why is it messing with you, sir? Not some historic facts of white people taking L's. Oh, why is it messing with you, sir? That's that's I something that's been really bothering you. I want white people to get eight. Well, you can go rent some gay porn if you want to see that. Damn. If you want to see white people get raped. I mean, you said it's butt breaking, right? No, I didn't say that, sir. You're just saying random mush mouth. Why you think butt breaking? How come you mush mouth? What you mean mush mouth? What, what do it mean? How come you can't talk worth a damn? How old are you? Bro, everybody hear what I'm saying, bro. How you old are deflect, you? You deflect how, them, how, bro. How old are you? I'm 30, bro. You too old to be this goddamn mush mouth. Bro, why you deflecting him, bro? No. You're a grown ass man. What do butt breaking mean, bro? You're a grown man and you sound like a 12 year old. You're too what old to butt be. Break you? Charles. Brother Charles, listen, go take you some classes and get you some speech therapy. Black people, you trying to lower y'all self esteem. No, 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 no. You, you're too old to be this mush mouth. You're 30 you years old. Out, Nobody's calling. You're just saying the same shit over and over. You're not calling anybody. You're, you're, not trying to lower y'all. you're not smart enough to call anybody out, sir. You're not that witty. You're just saying shit over and over. Your vocabulary is very limited, and I'm not trying to minimize you, sir, but you're, you're too old to be this mush mouth. You're too old to be this mush mouth, dude. And you're just repeating shit over and over. You're too old for that, brother. On the real. No, I'm just, it's just man-to-man talk. You're too old to be this mush mouth, sir. And you're just saying, what butt breaking? You deflecting. What butt breaking here? Is that butt breaking? My self is thin low. What that is there? Is my self is thin low. Why you got to eat like- Why Tiger eating up black people's? Why the tiger eating up the black people's nigga? God damn. No white people take it. So what? <laughs> What's the white people doing what? Charles. Brother Charles. I'm trying to work with you, Charles. W muted, bro. Charles. 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 White people taking L's, bro. What are you talking about, Charles? You you playing them L's, right? <sighs> Charles, what kind of work, Charles? Are you what what kind of work you do, brother? Do you think butt breaking is an L? Charles, what kind of work do you do, sir? Charles, what kind of work? What what kind of work do you do, Charles? What kind of work do you do, bro? What kind of work do you do, Charles? I do the same work you do, bro. I don't work at Amazon. I, what, what kind of work do you do, for real? You sell your moves on Amazon, don't you? Yeah, but I don't work in the warehouse, though. But you ain't got no job, basically. And I'm not knocking you for working at the Amazon warehouse, because you, you're, you're clearly... Right here, about Twitter spaces, right? You're clearly at work right now, brother. What's and your that, job, then? And that's okay, brother. I'm not... I'm not that is your job. Here. My job is not being mush mouthed. All right, that's my that's making, a full time. Making moves about butt breaking, right? And and did bug breaking? How did how did bug breaking make you feel? How did that make you feel? I want to do a movie of showing white men get butt breaking. Well, you do. You have a collection of that. You have a whole collection of that. Why you want to do a movie on white men get butt broken? Well, no, you got a whole collection of that, sir. Let's can... lower this self esteem. You call them supreme and superior. Does white supremacy. Huh? Charles, does white supremacy exist? 
No. That's not okay. slavery, bro. Oh. You living in the slavery movement. Oh, so it's no white supremacy. No. That's in your head. You you create white supremacy. Oh, I created no white supremacy. You. Okay. So where are the white people not supreme around you? Where are you where you can't no, where ain't no white people supreme over nobody, bro. They're not That's some cool shit, bro. That's some cool shit. What city you live in, brother? That don't matter, bro. Ain't no white people supreme. What city you live in? I want to, because I, if there ain't no white people over there supreme, I'm moving there tomorrow. What city you in? Nigga, any city. You can move to any city. Ain't no white people supreme. Um, Yeah, they're supreme over here in L.A. That's some cool shit, bro. You sound, so you inferior. You're in an inferior position. We're in an inferior position. We yeah. ain't talking about no position. We talking about, are you inferior? I'm in- I'm talking about a position. I'm in an inferior position. So why Just you like calling you, me? There's a reason, sir. Over at Amazon, where you working now? Who's your supervisor? Your supervisor a is who? Man. No, it ain't. A black man. No, it ain't. But you sound like a coon. You sound like a, a coon. What you just talking about, the black mayor? You sound like a coon for lying. Your supervisor. You talking about the black mayor? Yeah. So what about what? the black mayor? Is he not what a mayor? About, what about him? Is he not in the supreme su- su- position? No. The oh, white supremacists in white, Baltimore, you're because you're Baltimore, the, the white supremacists, they get rid of black mayors left and right. The last black mayor up there is the black woman. They got her up out of there real fast. So the, the white supremacists can get these folks out of here anytime they feel like it, sir. And you know that. White don't you? mayors get fired too. They what? White mayors get fired too. I know that. By by other white supremacists. How you know who fired them? It wasn't a black person, it was another white supremacist. How do you know that though? I know. How you know? Because I read and I study, sir. Well who what's the name? The name of who? The white person that fired the uh, black woman. It was a whole committee of white supremacists who did that, sir. How did Trump lose the election? Oh, that was a finesse. I think the Democrats finessed the the voting and lied. I don't believe that the Democrats got all the votes. I think it was a finesse. But what does that have to do with anything? I thought they were supreme, right? They, They shouldn't be able to lose their positions like that, should it? That didn't make no damn sense. What does that supreme wasn't... mean? Supreme means I can kill you with impunity and you can't kill me. That's what supreme means. Who can kill somebody with impunity? White impunity supreme. means no jail, no trial. Right. No Who do right. that? Right. Who can do that? Um, Darren Wilson, Eric he in jail right now. He what? He in jail. No, he's not. Gary Wilson in jail? No, he's not. George Zimmerman. He ain't in jail. That's Supreme. Did he go to trial? He what? Did he go to trial? Yep. That's not impunity. That is impunity. He didn't get punished. You don't. Impunity, you don't. Yeah, impunity when you kill and you get to walk free and be a hero. So OJ Simpson. Supreme means their OJ group Simpson. can kill your group. So, by definition, that makes them supreme in a supreme position. Yeah, OJ Simpson supreme. OJ Simpson didn't kill nobody. He killed two white people. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. It was proven he didn't kill nobody. Well, you can say the same thing about Zimmerman. Man, whoever else. No, you can't. Zimmerman admitted to shooting Trayvon Martin. These white supremacists are killing black folks on camera. What are you talking about? That ain't the same. O.J. Simpson didn't kill nobody. You think you sound like a coon now? You the coon? Oh, you look. You look at that like a win. So you don't want to. You, you don't want to. You don't want to say he killed you're a white the, person. You think, why, you, how do you think O.J. killed somebody? O.J. didn't kill nobody. What makes you think O.J. killed? It was a win for black people. What makes you think O.J. killed people? It was a win for black people. What makes you think O.J. Simpson killed somebody when the proof was he didn't? 
Bro, there was a win for black people, bro. I ain't asking you that. What makes you think OJ killed people? Because white people told you? You sound like a cone. Wasn't he, um, wasn't he cussing out for sucking dick in the house? That didn't mean Why he killed him. He just mad at him for sucking dick. What did that guy do to me? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. So that's your logic right there? He killed her because she was sucking dick in the house, nigga? So, so you said ain't no, ain't no the white people. Mouth, people. The mushmouth logic is insane. Good Lord. What's the dude with George George Floyd? We did what with George Floyd? The cop that killed George Floyd. Yeah, he had to go to jail because there were worldwide riots. But he's supposed to be supreme, right? Nigga. There were worldwide riots to get Wait, that one guy locked up. Impunity. They what? Not imp- it's not impunity, bro. It's not you said impunity. impunity. Because the streets turned up. The streets you, turned up. They were going to protect them. Not, the, damage not impunity, though. the damage got too great. We had to turn up globally. That's the pre- nigga to get one white man in jail. Billions of dollars have to be wasted. That's kind okay, of supreme. Dude, it took billions of dollars worth of damage to get that man locked up. Three so white men in Atlanta. They killed a black dude. It, it, it don't. That's called supreme. If it takes billions of dollars worth of damage to get a one white person locked up, that's supreme. Okay, Tariq. The white dude that beat the black girl up. The football player. NFL player. Right. How how long did he get? Didn't he get six years? Okay. Why is he getting any years? He's a white sacrifice. They'll sacrifice a white person. He's a, he's a, he's a white sacrifice. You can say that about any of them then. Anytime they go to jail, you you just go say it's a sacrifice. Yeah, they'll sacrifice one or two of them. That's why, like warfare. Why, why they doing that? They're supreme. They so, that, so, that, so, that, so, that, so that we won't turn up. They got to they gotta give the illusion that it's kind of equal every now and then. Because why? when we because what they don't want is for us to say, hey, we got nothing to lose. And then we get in a superior position. Because that's where I want us. I want us to understand that we can be in a superior position. No, and they don't, and yeah. they don't want us to get on toe. They want us to have mush mouth Negroes like you running around here. Talking about OJ they killed two like, white people. OJ killed them white people. He killed two white like people because they were sucking dick in there. They, they, they don't that. like this. They don't like they this. Like, they don't like OJ got off on it. They like mush mouth people like you. who like you like saying he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. That's, that's what they. That's an L to them, bro. All right. Anyway, Charles, there's, there's only you so much of, that I can only deal with so much mush mouth. But anyway, Charles, thank you so much. Let me let you get back to work, sir. All right. The flip, bro. Okay. Lord. Um, listen, family. Now I know there's, you know, we got certain dialects, and you know. Certain part of the country, people talk a little different or whatever, but that's mush mouth. Uh, family, that mush mouth shit, get, that got to go. All right. Being an old mush mouth nigga, that, that has to go. All right. Let's keep it above. You know, the, uh, the walking stereotype, a, a nigga who's 30 years old, he can barely let out a coherent sentence. Hey, that, that shit is corny. All right. That shit works if you're a rapper, all right? If you're a rapper, it's cool to be mush mouth because you can put that shit to a beat and it can sound somewhat creative. But that's what I, I ask what you do for a living. If you're a mush mouth nigga, write some rhymes. You do two things. Listen, if you're a mush mouth, get you some speech therapy, start getting your, your articulation game up or write rhymes and just rap in that mush mouth voice and make some money. Yeah. But just being a mush mouth and then try to plebiscite babble and try to get into these conversations, no, that's not going to work. All right. And I'm not knocking you just because you're mush mouth. All right. Because, you know, you got some mush mouth lawyers out here. There's some lawyers out here who's mush mouth, which is beyond me. 
<laughs> and I'm not saying no names because I'm not trying to beat up on people, but we do see that there's some mushmouth lawyers out here. Yeah. But, uh, I, we don't need no more mushmouths. Good Lord, we don't need that. All right. Anyway, family, ladies and gentlemen, I think we, we were... We were constructive. I think we were as constructive as we could be. Don't forget to go watch the movie Microphone Check. Get your tickets for Microphone Check at microphonecheck.com. Join us at the Hidden History Museum, April 13th. And you can go up there. We're open Monday through Friday, 2131 West Jefferson. Go up there, get you some root work, get you some books, get you some... um, Flags. We have a whole bunch of stuff up there at the museum that you can get. Um, Twenty one thirty one West Jefferson. That's the address here in Los Angeles. And go to Hidden History Museum. Get the um, RSVP for our thirteenth April thirteenth event. It's going to be a phenomenal event, and I would like to see you guys there. Anyway, y'all, it's been real. I thank everybody for tuning in. We'll chop it up tomorrow. Puppy Akute, Lola Bube to the family. Peace. From the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice.